This is the quick and dirty introduction to the Thai alphabet, brought to you by Kiwi Dragonfly. In this lesson, we'll get you well enough oriented with the Thai alphabet to go out and start memorizing the characters. We only want you to remember these four things that we'll help you with in this lesson. We want you to know the five tones of the spoken Thai language, the three classes of consonants, the two categories of vowels, and what's used in order to determine the tone of a syllable. Unlike English, in the spoken Thai language, tone matters. Using one of five different tones, the same word can take on an entirely different meaning if spoken with a different tone. Here's an example of each of the five tones. Mid, Pai, High, Rot, Low, Ja, Rising, Suai, and Falling. Chop. So now the Thai alphabet has 73 characters altogether, 44 consonants and 29 vowels. There's also four accent marks. The 44 consonants are divided up into three classes, high, middle, and low. Now I know these sound a lot like the high, mid, and low tones we talked about with the spoken language, but they're entirely different. So a low class consonant will not necessarily be spoken with a low tone. It's a little confusing, I know, but just remember that consonant classes are just a name to divide up the consonants into three groups. To make it easier to remember, much like we have a song to memorize the English alphabet, Thailand has a word that starts with a certain consonant in order to make it easier to remember. Here's a couple so you can see what we're talking about. The word for chicken is... Kai. It starts with this character. So this character's name is Go Kai. And now the word for plate is Jan. It starts with this character. So this character's name is Jo Jan. Like the consonants, vowels are also divided up into groups. Two of them short and long. Short vowels all have a short pronunciation. Most long vowels have an elongated pronunciation. But there's a few extra that are neither long nor short in pronunciation but are placed in the long group as a rule. One last note about vowels. In our list, you see how each vowel has a little line in it? That's a placeholder for a consonant. In the Thai language, vowels are never written alone. They're always combined with a consonant. One of the consonants is silent for syllables with just a vowel sound. We'll learn more about that later. But for now, just remember, there's two groups of vowels, short and long. Now remember that there's five tones in Thai. So for a given syllable, how do we know how to pronounce it? We do have four accent marks, but they're not used to spell words very often, unfortunately. No, normally we have to rely on these rules. First we look to see if the syllable is live or dead. Then we look at what consonant and vowel the syllable is combined with to give us the tone. Complicated, I know, but for now, you don't need to know these rules. We just want you to understand why you need to remember the class of each consonant and the group of each vowel. It's to use that to determine the tone of a syllable. So remember when we said there's just four things we want you to remember? Let's make sure you got it. What are the tones of the spoken Thai language? They are mid, high, low, rising, and falling. What are the three classes of consonants? That's right, high, middle, and low. What are the two groups of vowels? Yep, short and long. And how do we determine the tone of a syllable? Yes, by using the consonant class and vowel grouping against a set of rules. So now that you've got this quick and dirty introduction under your belt, download the Thai Alphabet Helper iPhone app or use the Flash tool on this site to start memorizing.